Police are hunting thieves they believe are responsible for a series of ram raids across Oxfordshire in which cash machines were stolen. There have been seven in the past five months as well as three robberies. Shops in Carterton, Didcot and Shipping Norton have all been targeted. Sarah Loudon reports. This CCTV shows a car being driven through the front entrance of the co-op in Carterton. A cash machine was stolen. The theft on Tuesday is just the latest in a series of similar attacks across Oxfordshire. So this is where in March, is this store in Long Hanbro was targeted. They forced the way through this fire door here, took the two colleagues who were working on the shop floor and then marched them into the back areas uh, towards the cash office, uh, where they proceeded to take the cash from the store and then knock the colleagues uh, in the toilet here. In just eight minutes, staff were threatened and tied up. The offenders got away with cash and cigarettes. The fire exit has obviously been reinforced. We've got stores where we've put protective bollards and reviewed the quality of the shutters in the stores uh, to prevent both burglaries during trading hours and also uh, during times when the stores closed. The co-op workers managed to escape through the toilet ceiling, physically unharmed. And yet more examples. Last month, cash was stolen from a Tesco in Ensham, while in March, a cash point was taken from the Waitrose on the Botley Road. Since December, there have been seven ram raids and three robberies or thefts. Although it happens elsewhere, this series of local attacks has raised concern. You know, do we need to, to up the ante on this? You know, 10, ten as I say, in, in the few months. Uh, and I, I'm worried that, you know, someone could get injured. Luckily, that's not happened yet. But we've got to be able to say that we've put all the measures in place to prevent this crime from happening again. The police believe the same organised criminal group is behind some of the thefts. We are working, as I say, with our neighbouring forces, including those where we believe the organised crime groups are operating from, to have a disruptive patrol strategy involving uh, uniformed uh, vehicles, road policing and other specialist vehicles, and also coordinating our investigative response so that we are sharing that information, their intelligence and the evidence, so that we can identify our core offenders. Last night, Councillor Walker met with the police alongside the Whitney MP Robert Courts, who says he was reassured that progress is being made in the investigation. Sarah Loudon, BBC South Today.